Hello everyone and welcome. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of January 23rd through the 29th of 2023. I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. Ooh, Sagittarius. Nice card to start with. Material gains, tangible goods, good work coming in for you on offer. It's like divinely being offered finally. All things are starting to go your way. It's a new beginning in your life. Nine of Swords, so a little bit up in your head. Maybe you said something or did something and now you're having that twinge of regret. So you're wondering maybe I shouldn't have said that or shouldn't have did that or maybe it was done to you. But it's keeping you up at night, needlessly worrying. So you're going to have to, you know, get up in the morning and deal with this so that it clears, it clears the air for you so that you can feel more refreshed going forward. And there you are, off into the wild blue yonder. You know, you're starting over in all aspects of your life this week. You're feeling more fresh and more alive. You haven't felt this way in quite some time. You know, you can actually step out and breathe the air without feeling like there's so much pressure on your chest, no matter what. You can't get enough. And the hair font. Well, maybe you're talking to, you know, a therapist or you know, a mentor, somebody that you really look up to that's been through quite a bit and they're not judging you. Maybe you were just talking to them, bouncing good ideas off them, letting them know where you stand, but you know when you talk to them that your ideas stay with them. They don't spread it around, you know, which is wonderful. You know, you, it's always nice to have that feeling that what stays in those bedroom doors stays in those bedroom doors that sort of thing like you know they have really good solutions and ideas for you and you're spending more time with yourself and important matters realizing what you want to do where you want to go for some of you it's even going back to school here you know you've taken on those new steps for the beginning because you can see a light now so you're going back to course to school for courses to inv make it um advancements in your life sorry I don't know why I just can't seem to speak proper you know you're taking you're trusting more in yourself going forward and the knight of pentacles so there you begin you know you're got all kinds of good ideas you like to travel you like to go off the path and you know spend time by yourself sometimes or just with somebody else but it doesn't have to be in big flashy things you know sometimes just taking a drive to a different area gives you that time to clear your head and not you know keep everything bottled up it gives you something else to think about and so that you have time to think clearly and the wheel of fortune so there you are heading off into better new horizons more money coming in you know and this is your love life then you know it's off to a really wonderful you know step in your future you know you're getting that big career break that you've always wanted you're changing all the ways that you look at things in your life you're having a more optimistic look and you're realizing that there's more things potential out there for you going forward than what you've been holding yourself back at so that's beautiful and the lovers and there you are really making a commitment to this new career your relationships that you're in for some of you you're even considering like you know making this more um can't think of the word more together like if, if you're living with somebody maybe you're thinking of getting engaged if you're you know living in separate homes maybe you're thinking of uh, moving in together that sort of thing you're making it more tangible for both of you and you're both quite happy you're on the same page you have the same outlooks in life you know if you've been with a partner for a long time maybe you're getting engaged finally you know or maybe even considering getting married and the three of rods so there you are looking out into the future with you know great aspects 
you're on good solid foundation and you know it you're looking out into horizons with um clear thought and and heart and knowing which way you want to go so you've got a good idea of what you want ah, and ten of rods so you're laying down those burdens that you've been carrying for a long time you know maybe the job that you were in they expected so much out of you and they weren't paying you what it was worth so you know you're telling them that you know if you want me to keep continuing doing this you're going to increase my paychecks or you know take these chores and do them yourself sort of thing but you're going in the right direction you're learning to you know get people to help you and learning to accept it that is a big thing for all of us you know the whole world needs sometimes when they ask for help to realize that the help they're getting or being offered is there for their benefit and the world card so you are definitely on you know a whole different level in your life you know, you're, you've finished something up in your life. You know, you know where you stand. You're feeling more peaceful with yourself and your surroundings. And you can see a future. So good for you. And for some of you, you're actually thinking of in the future making a trip somewhere, someplace that you've always wanted to go. You know, you're comfortable with yourself. You're comfortable with your surroundings, your job, your home life, your family. You're just content and things are moving in a positive note. Two of Swords, mm, you're trying to make a decision, but you know you have to. Don't sit there too long. Don't ponder too much. You know, make that decision so that it, you make it. You know it's a choice you made instead of having it done to you. So there you go. And the Six of Pentacles. So you have enough. You're, you're even trying to help people. You're trying to make sure, you know, everybody's doing okay. Everybody has enough, that sort of thing. But that's that's normal for you. You're always helping somebody. You know, you've learned a lot of lessons in your life. You know, you, you ask for what you want. Sometimes you get it. Sometimes you don't. But you keep moving. You don't just stop. You know, if you think you got nothing to offer somebody, give your head a shake. you got a lot to offer all the way around. And the Nine of Pentacles. So there you are. Content. You have enough. You know, you have lots to offer others. You're content with yourself, your surroundings, your circumstances. You know, this could be a windfall for some of you is coming in in more ways than one. It could be money as well. You know, money's in the mail unexpectedly. You know, you're feeling rich in spirit. You're just in a stable, secure um, area of your life right now. And you're just feeling so optimistic and free that it almost overjoys you with how happy you are. You don't need anything from anybody. You're quite content and, and doing your own thing. So that's beautiful. And the chariot. There you go. You know, you're getting out of a dead-end situation for some of you. And moving on to a more positive note. Because things are going to heal and go forward for you. You're on the right path. You know that. You know, you're forging ahead. You've got an idea in your mind of what you want to have coming in the future. You know, if this was a brass ring, it's just turned gold. You know, all possibilities are out there and you know it now. And the Eight of Swords. And you're stopping holding yourself back on your decisions and yourself moving forward. You know what has been holding you back. And you're tired of just being in limbo for too long. So you're going to... You know, take the good with the bad. You're going to take the blindfolds off and step out into the future because you know that just standing there doing nothing has gotten you nothing. And you have a lot of expectations of what you want. And you're willing to now go ahead and make them happen for yourself, which is beautiful. And the Knight of Swords, and there you come. You know, unexpected trip for some of you. You know, your excitement, you're anticipating it, you're you're having a really good time. You know, if this is a friendship or something, maybe it's not quite going the way you wanted it, but you're okay with it because you'll come out on the end of the winning end of it anyhow because you're just feeling that optimistic this week. Nothing's going to hold you back. You've already made the decision. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can see that gold ring that you're so desperately wanted to hit, and now you're heading right at it. You know, you're feeling more optimistic. Your health is returning. Things are starting to, you know, go. You're willing to 
finish up what you needed to finish up in your life so that your future goes forward from here. You know, you're starting over with fresh new endeavors. There's money coming in for you. There's new jobs, better relationships. So there you go. What a week. All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card, but you're on a very positive note. Yes, you've held yourself back for a bit and you've had some disappointments, but you've figured out that, you know, I need to put my happy-go-lucky boots on and get moving again. All right. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action. There you go. All right, on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.